Hi, I'm Yusuf. In this video, I will tell you the operation uh, of fixed contour curve point option. In curve point operation, uh, we create tool paths using curves or points. First, we click edit and if uh, curves uh, are uh, curves uh, has two parts we choose connected curves and click one of them the starting point uh, is our selected point then we push we click add new set or the middle button of the mouse click and choose we click OK and generate we didn't choose the tool and generate it just creates a toolpath uh, that draws the surface uh, not not uh, this toolpad hasn't a negative stock. Uh, it is on the surface. Let's look how it works. You can't make a, a whole finishing operation with this curve point. Uh, you just move the tool in a. Uh, particular uh, particular curve I click uh, OK uh, if you want to uh, create multiple passes you uh, open cutting parameters multiple passes and uh, you define the value uh, that the tool uh, starts above the surface and select multi depth cut you can choose increment for example one millimeter or passes for example three passes and ok and generate you have a tool pass that starts from three millimeter above and cuts in three passes you can make a negative stock how uh, you uh, select the stock tab and write the negative value of this value ok and generate you can see it with view and static wireframe so you can uh, dive the tool uh, onto the part like this Let's see other parts. Uh, this is uh, used generally in plastic uh, injection molds. I don't know the direct English uh, term. Um, Curve points and click um, mouse middle button. Choose mouse middle button. Choose mouse middle button. Choose OK and generate. To create a negative stock, for example, two millimeters passes five and stock minus two okay and generates we just have a negative stock okay you can uh, machine uh, these uh, slots with curl points
Secure points. Choose mouse middle button. Choose. OK and generate. When I look at the toolpaths, I can see that there is a jumping move here on the corners. This is occur because because in fixed contour operation logic, uh, the toolpaths are created above the part and projected into the surface. In this particular operation, the operation is created uh, via using this uh, curve and projected to the surface. Uh, on the surface, there is a corner, but it isn't important. The uh, software won't think that uh, I shouldn't jump on this uh, corner it uh, because it is uh, this logic is like this if I don't want this jumping move I should uh, edit the curve edit curve edit curve and length I choose the corner and Shorten the radius of the uh, shorten as a value of uh, radius of the tool. Choose. Okay. Yes. I I select the curves again, and I click generate. If I want multiple passes, I write this value, it is 5 millimeters, and choose multi step cuts, OK, and generate. In this scenario, uh, the software has a fault actually. Uh, it makes, uh, it doesn't feel this uh, this gap how I can do this specify cut area and choose this ok and generate with this uh, it makes the right move I want to machine this form slots curve points Okay, and generates. Uh, it makes this formed curve also, but as you know, we can't uh, we can't machine it in a single uh, in a single pass. I must make multiple pass. multiple passes and let's write four, 14 passes 14 okay and generate as before this uh, fault occurs specify cut area choose the area choose the floor and generate but there is a uh, there is an issue again because it makes air moves here. Uh, I should I should just cut this slot. How I can do this? Cutting parameters, containment, in process workpiece, use 3D. Okay, and generate. With this, uh, it calculates the stock and creates the tool uh, tool pads according to this blank uh, you can use it for this uh, for this formed 
alias. Our last part is this. First, clean this. Uh, I want to machine this revolt slot. It is diametries. Radius is 10 and diameter is 20. So I use a 20 millimeter or uh, the 90, 19.99 uh, ball mill uh, I I can only cut this uh, slot accurately with curve point operation but I don't have curves now to uh, get this I use ISO parametric curve option I click you should use uh, the wrong choice and uh, write 3 or 5 or 7 to have this middle uh, curve and I click ok now I have this curve curve points and choose the curve and click generate click generate it makes single move again I must make a multiple pass it is 10 millimeter the radius one one and generate I choose specify cut area and generate again but uh, there is still a gap here and the air moves are made containment use 3d and click generate There is still there is no air moves now, but there is a gap here. Uh, if it is a soft material, it isn't important as aluminium or uh, wood. But if it's a, a very hard material, you can break the tool. How we do this? I copy and passed inside the MCS mill and I don't use the workpiece uh, this solid body here I choose the curve uh, that I used here okay I clean the specified cutter because I don't use the workpiece and click generate and I have a uh, I have a warning here because containments uh, this option will work if I define a solid workpiece and click generate so in this choice I will have a very good uh, cutting in this part it always touches to the parts always cuts I can't see a, a 3D dynamic view because I don't have a workpiece you can as you can see on the video you can see this curve point option in various scenario uh, so uh, uh, but you must uh, create a curve if it doesn't exist and uh, you should sometimes 
uh, shouldn't use a solid work piece as, uh, as in this part. It is all for the core point option. Thank you for watching. If you have uh, questions, please ask me on comments.